Hello, this is Jake and welcome to my automotive channel. Today we are looking at a car I picked up yesterday. I had no idea I was buying this until yesterday evening, um, but it popped up on Facebook and it was local 20 minutes down the road and I thought, you know what? Yes, I've wanted one of these. And I say this a lot, I've wanted one of these for a long time. Really on paper, this was my very first car back in 1998 because I grew up, um, I was dis I was born, I, I had art problems and that, so I was disable disabled. Um, so uh, my mum and dad, they had a car mobility for me so I could get the score and off the floor and all stuff like that. And the very first car we had on mobility was one of these. So I've been looking to get one for ages. When they do pop up, they're all automatic and I'm not a fan on automatics, as you probably all know. But anyway, without further ado, here it is. Ta-da! This is a 1998 Renault Megane Classic. Now, a lot of you out there have probably never seen one of these. These are as rare as you can get when it comes to Renault. Um, just going over stuff last night on the internet, it looks like there might only even be nine in the UK left on the road. Um, we did look at another online and it said one of two. So we're not sure, it's either nine or two, eight have been sawn, but these are very rare cars. Now you all know my last Renault Megane I had, the hatchback, this is a saloon. This is actually a Renault saloon car. A bit like the Laguna at the time, when the, these come out the same time as the Lagunas, um, but the Laguna wasn't really classed as a saloon, more so it had a smaller back end, smaller boot um, compared to this one. But yeah, this is just, one of those dream cars now it's far from perfect there's loads of problems with it um at stereo wise interiors interior spotless this as one owner from new technically uh well i am the second owner there's no technically about it um the first owner he was sending the car for scrap someone found out and he's like no this can't go to scrap they put it on a facebook page and yeah i was like i'm having that i'm getting that so i offered him a price someone else got in front of me but they didn't turn up so they lost out and i've ended up with this lovely renault megane classic now it is just exterior problems mechanically there's no issues um i've done a good 50 60 miles in it yesterday and today and yet yeah, no mechanical issues whatsoever um engine sweet as a nut the exhaust is great on um mot it says the exhaust has a leak but i've i can't hear it myself but i'm no mechanic so mot you can get underneath can't have a look there's a bit of surface rust underneath you're gonna get that on a car this age but yeah so when i say exterior it's it's your common common lack of pure it's actually had work done before on the rear seals you can see down there both sides and a bit of touch up on the door. The door's been hit there. And then the boot is just, yeah, lack of pure galore, really. Um, I am getting it quoted, though. I want to get this uh, boot done. Um, I want to keep it as well. Um, I don't keep my cars very long. And I, at the moment, we are in the process of moving. So um, it might have to go in storage for a while. Um, and at the moment, my dailies are Renault 5. And I'll have more on that soon. Because I don't think none of you know. I've got a little 1994 Renault 5 I'm bombing around in. Um, but yeah, the lack of is terrible. But the sunroof does not leak, which is amazing. It does not leak at all. And it's just had touch of paint, as you can see here, all over. But like I said, this interior for an age of a car is ridiculously good. It's spotless. All I've had to do is just wipe the dash over this morning. There's a bit of fluff on the dash, a bit of dust. Um, the car's done 13 miles in the last year. Um, and as things happen, the original owner, he's had it from new. It came from um, Ross on Y, Renault's back in the day. And he's just gave up driving because the roads are a lot different to what they were 25 years ago. And I don't blame him. Um, but th this interior is just, yeah, perfect. I mean, look at this. The back seats have probably never been used. They are just, I, I'm outstanding with how well this interior is. It's, yeah. See if I don't get trapped in the door there. It is just, I can't believe I have found this car with an interior like this. It's grey, a little bit off-burn. I would have liked black interior with the dark blue, but, you know, 
I think ours was half and half, so it had the leather sides to the seats and that, but I can't remember. Our first one was burgundy, red, um, and then the one after that, we had a white one as well, but that wasn't a mobility car. But yeah, look at this, and the number plate RCJ. I'm very happy with. Um, you will notice the duct tape. At the moment, nearly all our cars have duct tape on them. Um, but basically, the window regular air doesn't work. New one ordered, £22, I think it was. Um, so just holding the uh, glass up at the moment, but not a problem. Um, things like that I can still get. You can still get quite a few bits for this, but it's getting harder and harder, of course. And the boot is massive. Proper mafia boot, as I call them, when you come to these old saloon cars. You don't get boots like this no more unless you uh, buy yourself a 4x4. So that is a very, very nice interior. Uh, nice boot, sorry. And this underneath is it's a little bit mouldy, rusty, but there's no old walls in the floor whatsoever. Um, one of the first things I checked when I had the Ondo cord was any old walls. But yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Like I said, um, I do want to keep it as these are not easy to find. And looking at all the uh, stuff about them, there's not that many left. Um, but I am moving out, so we got to see at the moment. But there it is. That is my uh, latest car. Um, I will have videos on it and other cars. The Renault 5, I will be doing videos on next week. But, yeah, there she is. And there he is. This is a he. I'm calling this one a he. Um, it's, it's, yeah, I, I am absolutely chuffed to bits with it. It, I was not letting a car like this go to scrap. So was everyone on Facebook. They, this car's not going to scrap. We don't want it to go to scrap. And everyone's glad someone picked it up. Because, again, these cars did get scrapped. And there's not that many around. So, there we go. That is my new car. Renault McGann Classic. If you can find another, please do send me links. Um, especially in the UK. I know you can probably get a couple of still in France. But to have them in the UK still is not easy. Um, yeah so there we have it thank you all for watching I will see you again soon with the Renault 5 like I said and yeah there you go I am absolutely yes it's just you, you don't get them um, every one of my friends they've not seen one so last time I saw one was in Worcester about four years ago when I drove my 911 but anyway chat went on thank you for watching please remember to like and subscribe and more coming very soon on my cars bye for now